what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of red dead redemption 2 now you guys didn't do as as well as i would hope on the last video but i don't want to keep doing videos on my channel and and doing one here and one off there i want to actually finish this game one and actually finish some stuff maybe i'll get some new subscribers from it but we don't know i'm gonna just keep posting videos but we're gonna change up how we post these videos we're gonna change it up on how we um we we, we, we which time i'm gonna put this so on the days that i'm not streaming i'm gonna put up red dead redemption at the time that i usually stream so around the 7 p.m eastern standard time or on sunday monday and wednesday is when i'm going to be posting right then and every other time you guys are going to get dvrp or whatever else i decide to upload okay that's going to be the time for red dead so you guys who want to watch red dead you're going to have that video there every other time 2 p.m eastern every single day you guys are going to have the dvrp content okay but without further ado if you guys like this video drop a like comment subscribe turn the notifications so you know when i post hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode we're going in with chapter two of red dead redemption and um yeah i wouldn't even say this is chapter two i don't even know which chapter this is but we can just continue this is gonna be another hour long episode sometime i might have it as an hour and a half you never know but yeah we're gonna continue with this and i hope you guys enjoy have a great day have a great week remember to go after all you guys goals and your dreams you guys got this and let's hop back into the story y'all all right we are hopping back into the story now see how this goes and um what transpires from this uh what is going on here okay just checking my phone real quick but if you guys remember what happened last time you can uh just if you don't remember what happened last time you can just go rewatch it somewhere up here top right yeah top up up this way somewhere around there yeah yeah around there somewhere yeah gotta get it figured out but um yeah we we captured a uh, uh, odriscoll and uh had to do my lasso i was a cold boy last time bro i was <laughs> and i caught that boy anyways um so now we're gonna try to go in for the next part of the story and see how this uh this one goes so let's uh just prepare for the shenanigans and the the stuff going on you feel me all right so this is taking an awfully long time to load that's crazy though i wanted like th today has not turned out the, the way i wanted it to like i woke up i wanted to record this like this morning but just had to deal with some other stuff and it did not work out that way let's just say that anyways uh yes override it it's not letting me click uh okay that's strange it's not letting me click oh i figure it out i gotta hold it down yikes all right let's go over here and see what the next mission is like can i not run is whack there's so much snow this game is beautiful y'all like do y'all agree I find this game to be very beautiful can i like hop through the window or something guess not <coughs> we're gonna hmm. starve to death up here mr morgan <sighs> all right pearson we're okay we have After a few of cans Genesis. of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes mm. shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. 
Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough me. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted awful. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. Oh, you can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> That's COVID, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Oh, I forgot. Here, I can't be seen that. This. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on. This My way. Items. So, we're... I forgot the buttons already, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's my satchel. There you go. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so. You reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Look at we'll you, the hunter boy. I'm trying not to talk though while they're talking because I want you guys to be able to hear them as well. So, I'm trying. Getting stuck in the storm. Going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. We got the cinematic. It's wabbit season. I gotta get me a thumbnail too. Got the horse. Got the horses in the back. This might be a good place to get the thumbnail. See some of the ground uncovered here. Let's look down this way. I'm trying to get next to him, the but the computer. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. I'll probably try to get a thumbnail soon. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Man got eyes like a hawk, my boy. Has <sighs> deer been here? In recent. Let's get a thumbnail here real quick, yo. Uh Can I not like move out like further? All right, let's just back. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. All 
right, let's try this then. Let's try this then. Go down. Oh, that's good right there. That's good right there. That's good right there. Now let's zoom in a little bit. And let's do the HUD and screenshot. There we go. We got our thumbnails now, boys. Let's just make sure the screenshots are good. Why does it do that? That's crazy. Stop doing that shit to me, bro. Like, it keeps... Bro, the screenshots don't ever come out sometimes. It's crazy. I hate that it does that. That's Rockstar's attempt at making sure that you can't... You can't do... You can't take their... Like, take third-party... Use third-party programs to take screenshots. That's them trying to, to block you from doing it, but... Ha ha, motherfucker, mother truckers, I got it worked out, my boy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, um, see if we can get one from the other side instead as well. Nope. Right, let's do that. All right, we got on thumbnail now. I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Alright. To activate Eagle Eye. Okay. This is not quiet though. I'm not gonna lie. This is not quiet. I'm a good bowman, bro. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Do I want to call? Give me my, my arrow back, bro. Stop talking, man. Need a proper angle right here. We got it. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. All right, I got it. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Right. Okay, I'll go grab 
Come out, horsey. Come out, out. Come on, horse. Come on, old steed. This horse was struggling to come to me, bro. I need a new horse. Not bad, boy. Ready to head back when you are. Sure. I'm on the, I'm on the horse. Yeah, I'm on that. Let's head back. We're going back. Successful hunting trip. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems we'll to see. me we should be putting our effort into Don't jinx it, though, now. bro. Don't jinx it, Soon. man. Come on, man. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. Where are you gonna go? This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good he that we brings a bottle. He brings a bottle of the booze. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe damn. a can of salt and awful was kind enough to give us the girl she has a wild look in her eye <sighs> of course she lost her husband her home everything she had so what do we do with her well once we get out of here and we're back on our feet we'll see she might have family somewhere who knows maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight he's weak but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with Interesting your Driscoll's? plan? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Mm -hmm. Their leader, Comb, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Isn't that a bear? Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Watch it. <laughs> if that bear comes near me, he's gonna get he's gonna get effed up, bro. Cut up here, off the trail. much you and me how long you been with us now five six months something like that but you didn't expect this what any of this black water mess being up here ah uh, sooner or later a job's gonna go wrong nature of life mm. i just thought you might have moved on by now you want me to move on no 
No, not at all. I just I know you could run it alone. No problem. My bad. I did that for a long time. My bad, boy. My bad. It. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. But for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Jesus, 20 Since years. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. The loyalty right there. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I Seems like there was a car coming through here, though. The other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. No horses even got loyalty. That's great, bro. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some Taim. food back, boys. All right, let's hitch the horse. Right. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Yep, quite some time. I wonder how heavy a deer is. If y'all could let me know down in the comments. Let me know how heavy a deer would be. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. That's Charles crazy. is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Gonna skin the deer carcass. It's definitely not that easy, huh. but not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Whatever. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. 
<laughs> Interesting. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur! I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big hmm. railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Let's go. Now this is my kind of action. We're moving out. Follow me. This my kind of action right here. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls. The train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. Mm -hmm. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Mm -hmm. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah. You head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? <laughs> Act. Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Very, Is everyone very fast. clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. That's some serious crazy good voice acting, I'm not gonna lie. I do think that he's a uh, does sound like a leader. So I'm the kind of person who's gonna do this kind of stuff, you feel me? Crazy how they in integrate these uh these these uh what do you call it these cinematic cutscenes? Oh, Out this of snow, good. finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. 
Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Let's get... Maybe I need to get another thumbnail. Alright, let's zoom. How much does it zoom? Let's just use this for now. Let's see how this goes. There you go. All right, be done. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. Mm -hmm. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the ah. fiscals are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Okay. I don't know how I got up there. Oh, that horse is just stool and stool. Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. How you getting on? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Interesting. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Come on, horsey. Let's go. Mistakes. I got it. What's I got it, on? Dutch. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. What do I have? Shotgun or revolver? I'm using revolver. Switch to item wheel, so R. Includes you, Arthur. Got the train coming. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here 
we go. Uh. Shit! No! What? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my oh, fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. <clears throat> Come on, Lenny. Now stop yelling! Help! Arthur, help me! Yeah, you're okay. Stop yelling, buddy. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. Let's go. <sighs> oh, need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Arthur, who's going? Uh, I'll go. You cover me. Okay. Come on. We're going to take this buddy out. Ow. Shut up. Shut up. Ow. This buddy. He has long enough to set that charge. Well, I hooked up the wire, but we won't mention that. We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. Stoop this guy. How do I go from here? Oh, I can look here. Get off of me. How you doing there? I'm okay. Give me your shit. Run if them we pockets. Don't stop this train soon. The other boys will never catch us. I know. Just stay calm. Oh, you mother! You got him. I ain't got a clear shot. Get off! Get off of me! Yeah. Why can't I hit this guy? All these bastards must be guarding some. We need the car at the back, right? Yeah, keep pushing on. Still okay? I think so. Good. Damn, he's got an arm. Who is this guy? Doing good, kid. Who the hell are the others? Gonna get out of this. Oh, I know we are. Straight in the eyeball. Hey, there's the other boy. You just come on. Watch it. Go over my head. Come on. Bring this up, boys. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. I think they're all dead now. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. 
What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Let's take the dynamite. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good Here enough. Go. Now light the fuse. Knock, Let knock. Got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. Knock, knock. Yeah. Get on up yeah. Search that train. Come on out, buddy. Come on out. Let's go. Yo, why everybody bumping into me? This guy's like, I don't want to fight you. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should train. be easy as cake. <sighs> What's your name? You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Mm. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Got some brandy. Inspect this letter. I'm not Get reading that there. though. I'm not no, I'm not reading that. Ah. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. See if there's anything else. It's just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, Yeah, at least blah, at this time, I don't think people could read that very really. well. Sugar the literacy rate was, was probably was very low. A lot of sugar? No, some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. No, oh, that's a bond right there. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> <laughs> I searched the drawer on the desk. Bill stack. And I got some money. I got some money, money. I'm looting, boy. Like, wait. Damn. I need all this stuff. Stuff is mine. Getting all this stuff. I'm looting. Ooh. Taking this brandy too. Let's go. Alright, let's get out of here. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> It's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When oh, you yeah. get back, Demon time. we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. I'm on demon time. I'm on demon time, so...
There we go. Thought we had to deal what? Demon time, bro. There ain't no, there ain't no answering questions. There ain't no wondering what you got. Nah, it's straight up shoot them. Y'all know I don't play those games, man. Y'all know. All right, let's get rid of this train. There's so much people to loot right here. see what else they have a gold wedding ring nice hmm we gonna loot all of these bodies at least as many as I can Trains must have been so easy to rob back in the day. Just crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. It must have been very, very easy to rob trains and like different things like this. Let's loot this guy. Right, let's jump up here. And the train. Don't just leave it going at full speed. Whatever that is. I would do the same thing personally. I wouldn't really care about collateral damage at that point. I don't know. Y'all y'all know I'd be on demon time sometimes. Especially in in a game like this when I'm a convoy. I'm definitely doing that. Your sense of direction and navigation will have to be so good. We're gonna try. Stage. The weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Hosea. I hope this isn't copyrighted, bro. Don't be copyrighting me, man. Let's check my uh, my phone here. Um, this music seems a little sus, not gonna lie. Just a little sus. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Lenny! Micah! Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. I really, 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 really hope this isn't copyrighted. Is there a way for me to lower, like, like, completely turn off this music? Because I really, really hope. Well, I did turn it down, so I don't know. I hope this isn't copyrighted. Let's let's hope. Let's really, really hope. Let me just make sure that the other one, the one that I posted before.
Get us out the stream. Yeah, I know. Are you serious right now? Okay. Let's take a look. Are you serious right now? You all right back there? Of Everything course okay? that happens right. to well, me. What's going on? Ah, of I course. Broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You of course up? that happens to me. I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. All right, let's roll this wheel back on. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. There. See, you ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah, look at them. They look they're lurking. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. I'm pressing E. They're all waiting on us, Arthur. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Mm. Stole them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget. This oh, punch him in the face. Man, Charles, Talking about me. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Kind of hard to show by the flashing sun icon he held for. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. Make sure you wear clothes appropriate for the we environment. Around. Okay. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder mm. delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. I try not to talk during these things because, you know, sometimes I don't even know what to say. That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct this direction man's... on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. This you man is this better. Area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just 
you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. That's the way it is. Always has been. So I'm thinking somebody would have died. You, Dutch? Dutch probably made oh, a bad man, call on a job that they were supposed time. to do. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. It requires some herbs. These can be consumed yep. to replenish your course using cooking and crafting items. Now the horses are going faster. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Okay. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. You could have jumped on before. Well, it was going, bro. It wasn't going that that fast. Jesus. Okay, you let's lazy go. mother. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Interesting place to be. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. It's a tent. You were wrong, Jose. This place Here is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe. Why is her chest all like that? And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time. For everyone to earn their keep. There's this man a town always yelling. Little way down the track, name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here, 
I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Jesus. That's rude. Damn. You ain't gotta treat her like that. Alright, so this is chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. Probably gonna do one more mission in this. I know this is about an hour long so far, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Couple of weeks later. Might just start something else and then go from there. Got off the mountain. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that. Oh well. Eat and drink and rest and maintain your quarters. Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks. Nothing. We're free. We're free to plan on Bank person animals to play. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it. Hey, stop talking so much, man. I'm trying to shave. Oh, I can only trim, I guess. So. Chops. I still want, like. Pretty full beard, I think. That's where it's at right now. Let's do two. Let's select this for now. Keep it like that. The gang's camp is shown by the tent on the map. Okay. I'm going to give $10. Each day a person makes sure you can eat from the pot at Okay. Go down, yeah. I think it's going down. Smells delightful, Mr. Pearson. Yes, it's It'll gone. Be ready when it's ready. All right, that's done. I got the money thing. All right, so let's go. All right, where's the map? We got this here, we got that here. Let's do this one that's right here. Let's do it right here. Let's do this and then. We'll end the episode after we do this, and then we'll do the other two in next episode, okay? So let's see what this one here is about. Ow, ow, Damn, you're not kicking. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing... Killing, lying, fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? 
We'll see if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Get out of here. Do what we gotta do. Bro, this sounds so bad. Shut up. God damn. Help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, my help no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Come on, horse. Probably shouldn't show it from behind. <laughs> There's a girl. Come on, girl. Come on, horsey horse. Oh, I hate that you can't even move faster. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. All right, later, buddy. I saw a fox Let's go over there. To Valentine. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother, there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart, a small one perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here. I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a Yo, shut your mouth, town. buddy. Other people. I don't know who you're talking to. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. 
Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Seems like I can't even go fast when I'm in town, I guess. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. and Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris in Paris. So that's right, how you see uncle. yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Nice, yes, don't. Really. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. The ringworm, right. there it is. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. They love inside each other. Morning. This would be cool. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. All right, that's the cell. Sorted biscuit. You're not getting coffee. anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Let's have some coffee. Sweet corn. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. Mm. Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All right, what can I sell, actually? There's a car, bourbon. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful mm. time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Mm. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. I'll sell him the brandy. All the best, fellers. Don't need it, so I'll sell him the brandy. Get by my money. There you go. Let's head out of here. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Good Gentlemen, luck with that, buddy. I think I got something good. What? What? Oh, boy. I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That 
does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me! You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care! Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. Get your hands off of her! Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch! Hey! Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There He's will be if you don't him. get out of here right now. I would shoot him, bro. You better take your hand off that gun, boy. You better take your You're hand off that gun. A big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. You're lucky I can't shoot you, bro. I ain't doing this with you right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get. Crap. <laughs> The law were alerted. I can't shoot people. That's why. Man, that's whack, bro. You thought I wouldn't find you. That's whack, bro. Get your Luck. hands off her, friend. Who Lucky. are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> it's lucky I can't shoot him, bro. Or what exactly? You wanna find out? Yeah, you wanna find out? Come on, buddy. Come You're on, buddy. Keep it, it pushing, buddy. Yeah, Jackson. keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Mm. You want some? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Uncle, look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. See where Karen's at, cause Karen seemed to be tripping. Can I help you, sir? She had all her stuff people. out. I, I all her all stuff at the manage. door. You you nah, you can't help me. Nah, you can't help me. I'm looking sir. around. Let's see what's going on around here. Can't open that door. Can't open this one. Oh, uh, can I help you, sir? Nah, you can't help no. me. Wrong room. No harm done. <clears throat> this door is locked. All right, we're going to have to go upstairs then. Please don't bother the other guests, sir. Bro, shut your mouth. I'll do what I want. I'm a cowboy. Wrong with you. My outlaw. No trouble now, please. Alright, let's see if we can find this woman because she seems to be hoeing out here. Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. Is that man stooling? friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Oh, you want fight? You want fight? Oh, shoot. I did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Oops. Yep. Did not mean to do that. Come on, bro. Did not mean to shoot. That's for sure. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but hope, uh, this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Mm-hmm. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. 
Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Come on, please! Please! Hey, Just borrowing it. Stay away from me! Get back here, right now! That's far enough! Oh my God. Come here. I don't want no trouble! You stop right here! You have to help me. Do I? Please do something. Can't let that be come out. I don't care if I lose the honor. Mission complete. Horses blue. Wait. Hey. This the guy. Damn. You can return to. You can return the horse you stole to the owner in Valentine to gain honor. Let's let's go back to Valentine and gain back some honor. Let's go back over here. Never comes when the name. Back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Yeah, we just had to take that guy's horse real quick, you know. Ah, Nuka. Don't worry. You'll be regular no time. <gasps> Welcome back, mister. Okay, I don't need anything from him. Thank you for your help. <laughs> hey, all right, there oh. we go. Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here. Come over here, I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Mm. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Uh-huh. Chad, well, that sucks. I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Where's Bill, man? Hey, there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, pal. Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? How do I dodge, bro? Wait, what the fuck? This guy's running my shit, bro. I did not mean why does it keep doing that bro I don't want to be shooting people why does it keep selecting my gun I need to get my okay Q and E I don't want the I got the gun in my hand. I don't want to shoot people. Come on, man. How do I switch the thing again? Bro, put the gun away. 
Put the gun away, buddy. How do I do it? Hold on. What the heck? I thought I knew how to do it, but why is the gun not going away? That's the question. Why is the why is the gun not going away? Uh, yeah. I kind of got a gun in my hand. I don't know how it got in my hand. It's not letting me put it away. Why is it not letting me put it away? Like, where's the weapon menu? Why is it not letting me put it away? And there we go. Law was alerted, right? Ah, why is it not letting me put it away? That's the thing. That's crazy, bro. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, you about to kiss that guy Take or punch easy, him? Huh? Oh, and we have our answer. It's not letting me. Excuse me, oh, Come on. We can handle these fools. Knock that guy out. Down here. Tommy, stay out of this. Come here, you little greaser. Gonna enjoy beating you. Yeah, I hit like a girl. Get off of me. Get knocked the hell out, bro. Come here. I just got thrown Come through on, a window. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. You're kidding me. Pretty boy. Come on now. You You will kill that pea brain, Morgan. You okay there, Arthur? Yeah. I got this son of a bitch. Why didn't it block, bro? Get off of me! Get off of me! Off of me! Motherfucker! Get off of me! Come on! I hate you. The fight animation, the fight anim, the, the fight thing in this, the fight in this game is so hard, bro. Unnecessarily. I'm blocking this entire time and it's not it's not letting me Off of me! Off of me! Get knocked out, boy! Out! Mm. Hey, come on! Stop that! Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you! Stop! I will hit it no, one more sir. time. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Sir, sir, you all right? Knock that feller out. I'm not kidding, new shoot friends him. Again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, Alright, Josiah Trelawney. New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, 
Ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, mm. you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's mm. you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. It's not very clean there, is it? <laughs> Gotta wash those clothes, man. Alright. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for all the love and all the support. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just try to save it. Um, What is it? Is it story? Save game. Yeah, I'm gonna just save it make sure that i don't lose this progress so yeah thank you guys for all the love and all the support on these on this video i do appreciate it we're gonna end it all here and uh i'll see you guys next time have a great day have a great week peace everybody remember to go after all you guys goals and your dreams you guys got this i keep forgetting to do that if you guys want to follow me on my socials link in the description down below and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time